We begin with the latest COVID-19 figures. Singapore reported 399 new cases today. Of these, nine are community cases, one Singaporean and eight work pass holders. There were also three imported cases who had been placed on stay-home notices upon arrival here. The vast majority of the remaining cases are migrant workers living in dormitories. The health ministry said today's high count is mainly due to a batch of test results from the previous day that was reported to the ministry after yesterday's noon cutoff. The total number of COVID-19 cases here is now over 48,400. More details will be released later. Early data from three potential COVID-19 vaccine trials raised confidence that a vaccine can train the immune system to recognize and fight the virus without serious side effects. But whether any of these efforts will result in a vaccine capable of protecting billions of people and ending the global pandemic is still far from clear. Much larger studies are required to prove they can safely prevent infection or serious disease. One of the vaccines being developed by British drug maker AstraZeneca along with Oxford University induced an immune response in all study participants who received two doses without any worrisome side effects. Another vaccine under development by Cancino Biologics and China's military research unit likewise showed that it appears to be safe and induced an immune response in most of the healthy volunteers who got one dose. Studies on both vaccines were published in the Lancet Medical Journal. The announcements of these vaccine trials followed publication last week of results of Moderna's trial showing similarly promising early results. Joining us now to share more on this is science correspondent Audrey Tan. Audrey, how promising are the trials of the three potential vaccines? So um, the preliminary results from the trials are promising on two key fronts. So the first one would be that there were no dangerous side effects reported by the participants of those trials. And um, that's not to say there were totally no side effects. Some participants reported effects such as fever or headache. But the researchers said that these could be managed with paracetamol and are not considered dangerous. Um, the second positive sign from, from the trials was that the vaccines had the capability of inducing a human response uh, in the human body. So what a vaccine tries to do is that it tries to train the human body to recognize the enemy, which is the coronavirus, so the body can mount a response against it. And the trials showed that the vaccines were successful in causing um, the human body to produce these um, soldiers, which can help the body fight against an invading pathogen. And that includes immune system elements like antibodies and T cells. Curious about the phases of making a vaccine, um, phase one, phase two, phase three, are we at phase one now and uh, how long more before we see a, a working vaccine? So there are more than uh, 140 vaccine candidates being tested worldwide. Only a number of those are in a phase one, phase two or phase three trial. So it really depends which vaccine candidate that you're looking at. And to put things in context, um, there are many, many different stages of making a vaccine. And vaccines can take sometimes up to 10 years or more to, to be produced. Um, there are five key stages. as an exploratory stage, preclinical stage, clinical development, regulatory review before you reach the manufacturing stage. And uh, when you see references to phase one, phase two, phase three, they actually refer to the developments um, in the clinical development stage. So phase one, um, so the, the studies that were published recently refer to studies done at the phase one and phase two uh, stages. And this is when like a smaller group of people receive the trial vaccine. Um, there are now ongoing studies for phase three for um, a couple of vaccine candidates, including the one by Oxford University. And uh, this includes giving the vaccine to thousands of people. Um, but even after that, there are still regulatory hurdles to, to overcome. So I think that it will still be a while yet, like maybe in the next 12 months or more than 12 months before we can see one being um, officially rolled out. And there are many key questions remain uh, despite the promising results. And these include questions like, uh, uh, will they be effective in preventing an infection? So the results have shown that, okay, you can stimulate the body to produce immune system soldiers, but will that be able to actually stop a person from getting sick? So that's something that our researchers want to discover more about in phase three. And other unknowns include things like how many doses does it does a vaccine and does a patient need to receive before the body can can mount that response. And another key question is how long do antibodies and T cells last? How long is the immunity conferred? 
Audrey, let's bring the discussion closer to home. Our vaccines are also being developed here in Singapore. How are we doing on that front? Yeah, so earlier I mentioned that there are more than 140 vaccine candidates um, being studied worldwide. And in Singapore, we have uh, vaccine candidates in, in this number as well. So for example, Duke NUS Medical School, they are working with a pharmaceutical company Arcturus uh, to develop a mRNA vaccine. But currently, according to the WHO, that is still in the preclinical stage. So we have not yet seen it reach phase one yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, given the, the, the speed of how things are developing, we may see one soon. Thank you so much, Audrey, for coming on to explain to us a bit mm -hmm. more on uh, the developments of vaccine. Now, we were speaking to science correspondent Audrey Tan.